time for Drew's News, your daily bleep, bloop, bloop from the Good News <laughs> Robot. I can't do the robot. You know who does the robot the best? Leonardo DiCaprio. Really? In the words of Paris Hilton, so hot. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, with me at the desk is the hottest man in town, also my co-pilot, Ross Matthews. Bleep, blop, blur. Hi, everybody. When a guy, for me, does the robot well, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh. When they do that thing with the arm, they do the this, and it just swings oh, like that. There's something so sexy about yeah. it. Uh, what does that say about you? You find the robot so hot. Well, it's a, a human doing the robot, because I definitely don't look at robots and get hot. Oh, really? No. No. Unfortunately oh. not. Mm. As much as I believe in animism, which is, I think, what animation comes from to believe everything has a soul. And I am one of those weirdos who, like, the VCR would flash and I'd be like, there's a man in there like having a panic attack. Or Just a light saying, flicker. Just saying, set me, yeah. set me. <laughs> you, you might be bonkers, you know that? I might be. Yeah. <laughs> well, first up in the news, we're starting with the latest fashion trend. This is so fun. The uh -huh. New York Post says that people are showing off their bagel pride with Delicor. God, it never stops, you guys. <laughs> local bagel shops are pumping out custom merch so you can rep your favorite local deli in style. Here's some examples. Pete Davidson is on trend here with Uncle Polly's. The hat he is wearing, that's a deli in L.A. And then fellow hottie Jake Gyllenhaal teamed up with Russ and Daughters for a limited locks sweatshirt. And then Coach and Zabars got together and they had a bagel bag baby retailing at $550, which sounds like a lot of money, but it's sold out. Yeah, you know, it's not a lot of money for a bagel bag, but it is a lot of dough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So stupid. <laughs> I, but I love that this wearing your bagel pride is now a trend. Do you know how long I've been doing it? Like, this is a bagel, this is a bagel, this is a bagel. I've been wearing it for years. That's where I was going with really? it, too. Like, I've got 15 bagels on my body, <laughs> oh but my they're God. just not in the form of fashion. I know. You, know. you need a mac and cheese shirt because that's your favorite food ever, right? I actually went backstage to do a quick change, and I passed by our test kitchen, and there's piles of boxes of macaroni and cheese back there. And I just grabbed one. I was like, yeah, I need one of these today. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel, yeah, Rossi. All right. Well, I need a bagel shirt. You know, my favorite restaurant in the entire world is Chili's. Uh -huh. Anyone here ever had this, uh, the skillet queso dip? You, so put that on a shirt, girl. I will wear that. I'll meet you with your mac and cheese shirt. Well, why can you take me to a Chili's for queso skillet dip? Have you never had their queso skillet dip? I haven't. I would, hello, Drew Barrymore, I'm Ross Matthews, and I'm about to change your life. <laughs> well, we go on many dates, so let's add that to the list. Next one's Chili's. That's love you. A deal, love you Perfect. too. Perfect. All right, uh, now I want Chili's, thanks a lot. All right, next up, <laughs> more news. Do you all remember, this story went viral, I think like in the summer. It was about a, uh, a singing plumber who got discovered while working uh, at a record producer's bathroom. Did you hear about this? Well, yeah, he was singing, the record producer heard him, and now the BBC reports the singing plumber, Kev Crane, is getting his own movie about his miraculous story. What? Yeah, Kev has been singing his entire life, but it took that one unlikely event to get him his first record at the age of 50. And we have a little taste of Kev's tunes. Here's a clip of an original song called You Don't Have to Live Like This. Before we listen, it's important to mention that Kev used to absolutely kill it in a Depeche Mode cover band. Oh, that does tell me a lot. Yeah, and you can definitely hear that inspo right here. Take, take a listen. Watching sitcoms on the sofa, which are funny anymore. Continental TV stations, and I'm getting really bored. Yeah, very, very, very mode. 80s, very Depeche Mode. Mm -hmm. um, I also heard a clip um, of him covering um, a Billy Idol song. Mm -hmm. And he has really got a beautiful voice. He does, and he's super smart because I, I feel like I can sing even though, you know. Um, and I, the fact that he like was just humming at a record producer's house, very smart. Because if I was like a mailman who could sing and I knew that you were a record producer, I'd be like, here's your mail! <laughs> you know what I mean? Hello. He got that record deal. He's so sweet too. I heard that he said, um, like, and I quote, like, I can't believe this is my life and that my dream came true, which is just so 
grateful and I always appreciate hearing stuff like totally. that. Totally. And like how amazing that he was discovered. Otherwise, all this singing talent from this plumber would have just gone down the drain. <laughs> I couldn't even get through that one. <laughs> um, oh, I love you so much. It just hurt. <laughs>